Agriculture is the backbone of the Kenyan economy. This sector contributes to about 30% of the country's gross domestic product. Roughly 75% of the Kenyan population relies on agriculture for their employment and livelihoods. Kenya's population is growing at an approximate 1 million per year. This combined with stagnant agricultural productivity and limited arable land poses critical challenges to food security. Most farmers are working without basic technological inputs or updated technology and they lack the adequate financial access and extensions, thus majority cannot scale up. Our farms and farmers are simply not reaching their maximum yield. This and the high unemployment rate of the Kenyan youth led to TechnoServe launching the African Youth Agripreneurship Program, AAP. My name is Cyprian Amakalu. I work with TechnoServe as a business advisor. Um, we are currently running the AAP program, that's the Africa Youth Agripreneurship Program. This is a program which we are running with partnership with Barclays. We have four main objectives uh, where we target to link our entrepreneurs to markets. So that's access to markets, access to finance, business development support, access to information. So um, all these four key components are uh, implemented on throughout the life of the program. IAP is a program that is here to support the youth of Kenya and to help them think of agriculture as a very cool business, to think about opportunities that are in the agricultural sector, and we are helping them to think about that they can actually make money through agriculture, actually in the whole agricultural value chain, and it's been very well received by the youth. My name is John Logan, I'm the country director for TechnoServe Kenya. The TechnoServe is an international NGO that works in development, particularly in economic engagement for various people, smallholder farmers, uh, the youth, and uh, more and more with urbanized small businesses. It's really a very interesting program because a lot of these businesses uh, get started and they can get to a certain point before they start to hit some uh, um, challenges that, that prevent them from growing. And a lot of this is about understanding the, uh, the, the needs of, for finance, for planning, for um, being able to assess different opportunities that they can pursue with their businesses. Uh, Buckley Citizenship uh, Program, it's about uh, incorporating what we aim to achieve working in the communities where we work and live and ensuring that whatever interventions that we make, especially in the community, are well uh, aligned with what the business objectives are. Our, our commitment as a business, as a bank, is to ensure that we are working right in the communities and working in partnerships with reputable organizations. So TechnoServe, uh, their beliefs and their interactions with the community was a clear match, a very good match in that uh, aspect. The program kicks off with bootcamp training sessions where agripreneurs are trained on how to basically integrate being a farmer and being an entrepreneur and what steps one must follow to run a sustainable business. These bootcamps bring together farmers with operational farms who have a very high potential for scaling up both in revenues and youth employment. So we start with the bootcamps which introduce the aspect of uh, business support and the knowledge of how to run your businesses or your farms as uh, businesses. So the bootcamp will normally take them through uh, what is a business plan, how to write a business plan, then the business model canvas is very important. So that we cover during the first uh, engagement with them. Then once we are, uh, we are sure that now they understand what it is to run a business, we take them through now the different aspects of access to finance. So we would have them uh, interact with Barclays employees because Barclays being our main uh, donor, then it's important that they get to understand what Barclays products are and services. The farmers are engaged in diverse agribusinesses and they all come into the program with a yearning to be educated. Many are aware that there is a lack of relevant knowledge that holds back their dreams of sustainable success. My name is uh, Peter Wenena, I'm from Thika. My farm is located about, I would say, 15 to 20 kilometers from uh, Thika town 
it's in a, a small town called Goliba uh, and I'm growing uh, French beans, tomatoes and uh, pepper, chili peppers. The training so far has taught me one thing, that I need to plan myself. And number two, I need to scan into the future. So although I'm currently in the farm and doing the best that I can for the product, I need to scan into the future and know when is the market high, when is the market low. I really need to plan myself. I think planning and focus. What I do for TechnoServe is business development services as a consultant. I basically come in um, to take the farmers through um, how to come up with a more effective and robust business model. Uh, I realized um, they have been having a gap as far as um, getting to uh, structure their businesses are concerned, um, um, pulling the resources together, getting to understand what activities comes at what time. Um, so we, dis we, we came up and uh, we came up with a, a program where we adopted a um, business model canvas uh, which um, based on the market research that we did we found it is ideal for them to to be taken through when you attack in agriculture attack kufanya farming do utaki ukiulizwa na mtu what do you do una mtu tena uko na mabishta wako na na wanakwambia i'm a lawyer i'm a doctor i'm a pilot wewe unasema ma farmer unaona unaona utachekwa hiyo ndio kitu wanaogopa wanaona kama farming is a bit old iko iko modern my name is mary angaine i run a farm called green fresh farm um, I'm a farmer and I farm in the area of uh, Makuyu, French beans and watermelons and I'm also a beekeeper in the area of Katiado. All the training uh, so far is going great. Uh, we've learned a lot. I have learned a lot that I didn't know about farming and uh, most of the areas that we've covered, I am going to implement that in the farm and I'm sure I will see a big difference because these are things that although we know them, we don't practice them. But now I'm going to put it into practice. Uh, this training is very important uh, because everything boils down to food. Without food on the table, I think none of other sectors would be able to survive because everybody depends on food. So it's very key uh, for our economy, um, factoring in that um, our country is, uh, is, 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 has good um, fertile soil for, for, for farming and therefore is, uh, is an income manner that contributes to the, the national um, GDP. Um, I think we need to pay a lot of attention to, 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 to what we do in farming and support our farmers in every respect. The farmers are then attached to students who mentor them, eventually helping to create a solid business plan that will be a foundation for their agribusiness. For the business mentorship, uh, we are working with uh, four universities and uh, the reason for working with the universities is so that we can also give not only the entrepreneurs but also the students an opportunity to, to learn and to experience what it means to be out there working. We wanted them to give us students who could be uh, attached to the different businesses. For the students, we have to take them through the Barclays Ready to Work curriculum, which again focuses on the money aspect and the business aspect. And uh, we believe that once they get through that, uh, then they become more effective at uh, offering mentorship to the businesses. I'm Douglas Murigi, a former student at Kenyaga University, and uh, doing Bachelor of Commerce Finance option, as well as a certified public accountant. I'm here as a, an intern. I started uh, working with, uh, uh, with TechnoServe uh, since uh, the beginning of this year, whereby we're working with various um, entrepreneurs, and that is what I'm doing after now. I'm Winifibi Ombati. I come from Nakuru County. 
I'm an intern helping the entrepreneurs. So like we get uh, attached to a, an entrepreneur that we help to, uh, to come up with good business plans that will help their businesses like flourish and get funding. My background in finance will assist me in analyzing the financial performance of the entrepreneurs. I've learned so much in class. I've, I have the knowledge, the, the theory knowledge, but when it comes to working with an interpre the entrepreneur, I actually get to know so much about being in the field, like getting hands-on experience in terms of practic pra practical knowledge. Angry business, it's a sector in our economy that has the potential of growing. It's, uh our farm, me and my wife uh, Judy, we have 13 acres and out of these 13 acres we have about 4 acres of tomatoes, we have about 6 acres of uh, French beans and 1 acre of uh, lemon pepper and we also have some maize. So at the moment we have um, 3 people we have employed permanently at the Shamba, they take care of uh, the daily uh, routines. Kupalilia uh, Shamba, and currently, what we are temporarily going to on a daily basis. Right now, I think we have about eight of them. Visiting the farms is crucial to understanding the farmer's situation. AAP goes to lengths to engage the services of specialists to help solve some of these challenges the farmers face. The best practice training is chosen by what is being planted or produced by the farmers in the programs such as. Horticultural Best, Onion Best, and Poultry Best, to name a few. I'm Paul Marivi Kipiti. I'm an agriculturist or uh, agronomist. During my trainings, whenever I meet farmers, I normally inform farmers it's crucial for a farmer to source since from uh, authorized distributors because we have found out that many farmers are suffering because of planting the wrong, the, the wrong seed or the bad seed. It has left me without any doubt that I need to do further research. I have learned quite a great deal thanks to Technosub um, for allowing us to even uh, just be here to listen to this. Today I gained a lot of uh, stuff. There was a lot of information which was being given. Everything from how to get started with uh, onions, the seeds, the planting, the the whole nine yard, I would say. These trainings are very, very important, especially for me being a new farmer. I started farming this year, and every time, almost every day, I'm trying to read and trying to gather more information, and the more I'm learning, the more I'm becoming better in what I'm doing. And definitely, this was a place to be. When I train farmers, I know most farmers, the first challenge is because of lack of knowledge, because uh, especially, uh, use of fertilizer, use of chemicals, pesticides that suit certain ecological zones. So whenever I meet farmers, I normally inform them this is the right seed for this area. This is, uh, these, are the, uh, these, these, are, these are the diseases that you are supposed to be careful uh, to, to prevent. This, uh, this is how you should uh, uh, apply fertilizer in your, in your farm. Because you have realized that different farmers Planting the same seed, uh, end up attain, attaining the variance in uh, tonnage harvested. Same seed from the same company, but when it comes to production, some farmers differ in production. So basically, we came out, we came to know that farmers don't have that knowledge. When we were in Kujaupu, we were in a farm in a, a lot of cohabitation. So, like, tuna, to kwa kurima wengi, we are neighbors, but to na farm the same thing. So, my interest kuja hapa, nitiona, ni, ni taftek to different, that it make me different from the other, uh, the other farmers, that ita kwa 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 the added value of having the training is giving the farmers the access to information 
and the specialist who they can call on in the future. This is also a chance for them to ask questions pertaining to their own experiences. This allows for the farmers to hear others facing similar problems or alert them to what they may be doing wrong or right in their own situation. Now, my name is David Mianomwangi. I work for the Kenya Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization. I'm the director of the Nanruminant Research Institute. Uh, the Nanruminant Research Institute carries out research to improve productivity of poultry, productivity of pig, and other non-ruminant animals in this country. The poultry industry in this country has very big potential. We have about 30 million uh, chicken in this country. So if you, you look at uh, the population and the number of chicken, basically almost every household has some chicken. I think there's, there's a number of challenges that poultry farmers face. Uh, but one of the major ones is availability and quality of feeds but also the cost of the feeds. So one of the major issues that we have been dealing with in the training today is to train the young people on how they could use uh, the skills we have to compound and formulate their own feeds. I have to learn a lot of things. I have to learn a lot of things and I have to learn a lot of profits. I have to learn a lot of things ujengi tu shagala bagala lazima ujenge nyumba vizuri ndipo kuwa na production production nzuri yes the training today was effective because we learned on how to mix feeds so that from now on i can plan and prepare how i can make my own feeds as a young woman in poultry farming i would advise and even encourage other young women like me to join in poultry farming because it is a chance of self employment rather than staying or looking for jobs that are not there sometimes to get Unfortunately, a lot of people think agriculture is where you can go without any skills, without any knowledge. And that's how we are making all the mistakes that we are making. But people, if they train, they have the skills, they revisit research organizations and learn the latest technology that they can use on the farms, I think that would improve our agriculture, would improve our poultry production. So even for our youth, we are saying there's a lot of opportunity in agribusiness. And the moment they start seeing that they can make probably even more money than from a white collar job, then they'll start to embrace it even more. Some of the challenges we're experiencing in the program is um, one, I would say, the networking with a number of key partners because you realize we can't do this alone. So, and Barclays cannot do this alone. We are only targeting, uh, we've only managed to reach 200 entrepreneurs currently. And we all know that we have a youthful population. We have 40 million Kenyans and probably the youth are about 20 million. Yeah? So when we are saying we've only reached 200 through this program, then you realize for us to be able to scale, we need a lot of backlists out there. Essentially, we want to address what the government is also so concerned about, the youth unemployment. So if we support one person, by the time we exit, we want to see a demonstration that this young person has also been able to grow his capability and his potential to employ a number of young people in his farm. The farmers are then tasked with presenting their business plans to a panel of judges at the pitches. This stage is absolutely vital because it shows the growth of the participant from farmer to agripreneur. Our students have been uh, attached to agripreneurs to help uh, in uh, drafting business plans. And today we are here to look at uh, what the agripreneurs have. I to present my business plan. Kazi yenye nimefanya kujitayarisha ni nime nimepitia my business plan nikaona ideas zenye niko strong na kina zangu na nika perfect my notes and for agripreneurs we believe we are helping them uh, get closer to satisfying financiers in terms of uh, uh, developing business plans and business plans that can really uh, convince the lenders that uh, this is a viable business for them to get funding. So we believe there is a lot of benefit along the way. It's a proud moment for the winners and participants who will be able to increase their productivity and have the confidence and know-how to approach financial institutions for their needs. Our 
number one entrepreneur for IAP 2016 is Dennis Anan. Sikui maji ntapata pesa ka imesha nyang. Lucy Joroge. I am a banker. I work for Barclays Bank Kenya. I'm a student of entrepreneurship. I have done a master's in entrepreneurship and I'm also a student of agri agriculture, which is my first uh, degree. I'm a trained agriculturist. And on top of it, I'm a practicing farmer, so I'm very passionate about agribusiness. Helping our farmers to do simple record keeping, understanding what a business plan is. These are some of the gaps that have really been there that then these farmers or the, the, enter, the, the agripreneurs were not able to come up to a financier for any assistance. So that I must say kudos to TechnoServe. The other thing is how impressive is how well these agripreneurs know their enterprises. They know their staff. They know their businesses. They know what they require. They know what they need. And I'm, I, I must say I'm pleasantly impressed that they are ready to come to financials like us. Yeah, this is my second time being a mental. Uh, for the first time, I was mentoring an agripreneur who was dealing with selling uh, chemicals, that is uh, insecticide, pesticides, and all those, both for the livestock and uh, crops. And they have inspired me to venture in agribusiness. Uh, the biggest benefit that I've drawn from this program is really to understand um, how business works and the whole cycle, especially farming, and how you can uh, maximize on what you have and grow it to the next level. And then the networks have been very good for us because we, we've met fellow farmers who can, and we can buy from each other, we can learn from each other and, and also um, understand the different challenges that we face. I just want to say well done to Robert Thuo. Well done to Peter Wainaina. Mary Tangaina. Growth in the agricultural sector is expected to have a greater impact on the population than any other sector. It is for these reasons, among many others, that AAP is eager to reach out to more numbers to educate more farmers and change the perception of the agricultural sector from antiquated and non-profitable to a sector full of potential and profit.